Never Stop Learning, week 184. We're gonna take a quick look at how to use the on image adjustment tool when you're working with curves in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014. All right, so here I have an image that's really high contrast, so it's a perfect candidate for using curves. All right, in order to find your curves adjustment, you wanna come over here to the window menu, scroll down until you find adjustments. When you click on that, it's gonna bring up your adjustments panel. Now you have several adjustments in here, but the one we're gonna work with is this guy right here, curves. When you click on it, it's gonna bring up your properties panel. Now your properties panel is gonna have the curves graph along with the histogram in the background. If you take a look over here in your layers panel, you'll see we've added an adjustment layer just above your image. All right, let me hide this guy out of the way. Now you can find the on image adjustment tool over here in your properties panel. It looks kind of like a hand with a couple arrows here. All right, you click on it to activate it. And then you also have some helper text that you know, click and drag in the image to modify the curve. All right, so if I come over here, you see that point jumping around over in my curves graph, and that's the different luminance values that are found in my image. What I wanna do is come over here to the bottom and find a location right around here, and I wanna brighten this up. So all I have to do is click and drag upwards, and that's gonna brighten things up for me. If I wanna make it darker, I would click and drag downwards, and that will make it darker. All right, we wanna go up, we're brightening things up in here, and then release. So now we have all this new information right in here. Now this section is so bright that I don't even see the mountain in the background anymore. So if I wanted to I'd come over here, click and drag downwards to try to make that part darker, but because we didn't pin anything down, we're starting to get a weird graph here. Let me show you what I mean by pinning things down. I'm gonna come over here and just reset this guy. All right, now we're back to how we started. All right, when I'm talking about pinning, check this out. If I come over here and this is about your mid-tones and we're starting to get into the highlights over here. So I wanna pin down my highlights and all I wanna do is click right here. Now I click there, but I accidentally made an adjustment to this graph right here. And that's not what I want. So I'm gonna undo that. Now a better way to do it is you come over here and you find a midtone. Now right around here, you see I'm hovering over the mountain, but check out my graph. I'm pretty much in the same location. If I just click here once, I've added that pin, but I didn't make any modifications to that graph yet. All right, so now if I come over here to the dark areas, click and drag upwards, check that out. Most of the changes are being made over here in the dark area because we pin this down. There's just a slight change right in here. All right, so there's a lot more things you can do with curves, but I just wanted to show you the on image adjustment tool so you can make some more intuitive adjustments when you're working with curves. And there you have it folks. That's a quick look at the on image adjustment tool when you're working with curves in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014.